Hi guys, Hi. and welcome to a new episode of James Watches TV. And yes, we have a featured credit here with us today. Darren. And this is a reply to Tasha UK's request. And what are we going to be watching in this episode? Well, he's Peruvian, he likes marmalade. And he lives with the Browns. It could only be... Paddington Bear. That's right. It's Paddington Bear. The original from 1975. And the episode we've chosen is A Bear in Hot Water. Yes. Based on the second chapter of A Bear Called Paddington by Michael Bond. Are we ready? Yes. Oh, we don't want that. Sorry, guys. Now, a bit about our history with the show before we watch it, guys. I was introduced to this through visits to my grandma's house as a kid. She would have it on videotapes for us to watch. So here we go. Paddington arrived at number 32 Windsor Gardens. The first person he met was the Browns housekeeper, Mrs. Bird. Good afternoon. He said I'm from Darkest Peru and I'm yeah. here today. <laughs> Peru, exclaimed Mrs. Bird. Good gracious, whatever name What type of bird is she? Called Judy. He's going to have a bath. Go down, Paddington. I'm just coming. Did you say you're from Peru? Oh, Mrs. Bird. Darkest Peru, said Paddington. In that case, I'd best be getting some more marmalade in. Fancy knowing I like marmalade, exclaimed Paddington. How does she know that before no, she's no, even no. met the bear? She must have read about him. <laughs> the next person Paddington met was Judy's brother, Jonathan. And while Jonathan put some bubble mixture into the bath, Paddington yeah. listened carefully to his instructions. There's some soap, said Judy. And a towel... And a brush so that you can scrub your back. Paddington felt he would sooner just sit in a puddle, but he didn't like to say so. It sounds very complicated, he announced. Well, said you, well not really. Wash your ears. They look you just play with a few taps and back. then you've got a bath. Okay. Black. They're meant to be black. Are they? At least, I think they are. They look very black. Yes, it definitely needs a wash. The idea of whitening his ears with a toothpaste. But he soon gave that up. <laughs> there were other... Much Why would you clean your time. ears with toothpaste? Well, you wouldn't. They're for cleaning your teeth. And he drew a pee on the mirror. He certainly did. And now here come his failed attempts at having a bath. Take your duffel coat off first, Paddington. Um. What was that? Exclaimed Mr. Brown. Perhaps it was Mrs. Bird, said Judy. No, no, it was and not. Unaware of the alarm he was causing, Paddington busied himself making a foam map of South America. <laughs> Some of the mountains were very high indeed. And he was about to mark in darkest Peru when he suddenly remembered the bath. Oh, he suddenly remembered it. He'd forgotten about it. What is going on? exclaimed Mr. Brown. Don't tell me Mrs. Bird's fallen in the washing up water now. <laughs> How could she have done that? Gosh, cried Judy. Look. Paddington, he's in trouble. Paddington was in trouble, to put it mildly. Yeah, very mildly. Held fairly quietly, so as not to disturb anyone. And then much louder. Help. Help. Paddington, said Judy. You've still got your duffel coat on. I didn't want to get too wet, gasped Paddington. 
You're in a bath. You're going to get wet anyway. <laughs> Why ever didn't you pull the plug out? Exclaimed Jonathan. Pull the plug out? Repeated Paddington. Nobody said anything about that. I shall never, ever have a bath again, he said firmly. It's much too complicated. Okay. But before you went to bed that night, Paddington... Because he never learned how to do it properly. It's what's known as a dry bath. It's safer than using water and it's much less messy. And that was Paddington, guys. We hope you enjoyed that. Yes. And we hope you enjoy this, Tasha. This is your request being fulfilled. <laughs> One of your requests. I'm sure that she's going to give many more. <laughs> And until the next episode of this, guys, you have to wait and see what the next react, what the next one gets watched is. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for having me on, James. No worries. Hopefully, there will be many more team ups. Brilliant! I look forward to it. And tuning out. Let's go retro. <laughs> <laughs>